This was intended as a follow-on video to my NTSC plus Ethernet on an AVR, so if you haven't already seen that, you might want to click here now. Otherwise, enjoy! There was one pretty big problem I had when I did this. When I first did it, and I tried to make it work, this is what I saw. I saw a lot of this kind of jittering. It might be a little bit difficult to see, but it's just terrible. It makes the entire system totally unusable. And what's going on here is that there are instructions on the AVR that take two cycles. So if you get an instruction in your main loop that takes two cycles, so, I mean, I'm not really sure here, but let's say uh, if you're making a call, like I'm sure you'd be making a call to that function there, it takes two whole cycles before it would go and call the interrupt to fix up all the NTSC. That's bad. So what I found that you could do is this corrective timing thing that I've added. Um, let me just go comment that back in so that I can demonstrate that a little bit later. And uh, the corrective timing, what it'll end up doing is it will figure out, okay, so where exactly are we? Um, so it's doing this call and it's popping the address off the stack. And then it says, okay, well, I want to actually jump ahead into this no op section here, the right number of spaces to make everything end up the same. So the idea is, say we were executing a function that takes two, or an assembly command that takes two cycles to complete. Well, then we might jump to this no op, or say we were taking one that only took one. Well, we might jump to this one, or I guess it's probably this one if it's uh, one, this one if it's two, and so on. And that way we've buffered it, and so we will take a deterministic amount of time every time, and that prevents us from having any kind of that jitter. So I'm just going to save this real quick. And I'm going to go make it. Yeah, I know I'm up to 9 kilobytes. It's getting kind of big. And now, now that I have this extra code to kind of buffer it and make sure that all the timing comes out right, we can see that there is basically no jitter at all.